I'm streaming. All right, let's that shouldn't be floating. Just have the chat room. Also not floating. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, definitely streaming at this point. Um, don't need to be watching it though. I'm sure, tell you how many people were watching. Yeah, it is empty in here. Lonely. Um, oh, let's do this. Oh man, it's been a while. Uh, okay. So let's update Conda, I guess. Do, do, do. Singing to myself because there's no one here. Let's go check Twitter. Nope. Uh, nothing on Twitter. Oh shoot! I should probably add in my um, add in my webcam. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, can I edit this live? Probably. Um, video capture device, is that this? I think, yeah, that's me. Okay, perfect. Yeah, where should we put this? I don't know, this is hard. Because <laughs> uh, it's not like a real thing. I guess we'll... Uh, no, I guess the, the right place is right up here. Okay, cool. Learning stuff. Um, let's go see if it's in the stream. Yep, it is. Okay. Let's... <clears throat> uh, Doing conda install stuff. Um, that's great. Okay, let's kill that terminal. Man, a new version of git. I guess why don't we check Octobox? Let's just see what's going on. Maybe we'll take care of some conj issues. Uh, Ooh, no. So Octobox is amazing and everyone should use it. Uh, that is all. Basically, since Inbox died, Octobox is the, uh, like the necessary replacement. And Chrome is rendering this all weird. Maybe I have an old version of Chrome. Okay. Yeah, so it's really useful if you are managing like a million repos. Uh, maybe let's do some Conda Forge stuff at first. Okay, this wild meshing one. 
I know. Oof. Come on. Anyone here yet? Nope. Yeah, this one is a little annoying. Uh, basically, this code package has vends a lot of packages, um, and so they're not. They have a license, but they also have like a license bundle, um, and they're not including the license bundle in the license. It's like a different file, and this individual doesn't Teseok doesn't know how to. Um, package that right now. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. Um, and it kind of sucks. I feel bad. Uh, but moving right along. Okay, Conda. Oh, the new Conda package is still failing. Um, it's in Canary right now if you want to try it. Uh, ooh. What is this? Um, Yui. I uh, don't know the answer to that question, so let's ignore it. Um, kind of verify, I think, is still failing. Yep, still failing, but this is a different PR. There's a there's another PR I think for this one. Wow. It's a lot of like open dead PRs. Um It's like Oh wow. Uh I could clean them up, but I won't. Uh don't know what jam is, so let's learn. This is the way I know about a lot of packages. No. Nope. Uh, just kind of forward. Let's just look. What the heck is jam? Sounds like a Java thing. Perforce site software. That doesn't sound good. A software build tool. Oh, it's like a make competitor. But apparently uses make to build itself. Um, I don't know. Let's just go to the website. Ugh, what is going on? Oh, I copied the wrong part. What? Well, uh, you can't help Perforce Bot. Go away. <sighs> oh, weird. Um, so it doesn't, I guess it auto detects C code and C++ code. Fine. Who cares? Um, I guess other people, other people care is the answer. Um, Resisting the urge to put in a your word jamming. What oh, this all this perforce stuff? It's so annoying. Um, let's see. Did you have the jam dependency? Requirements run no, no jam depths. 
Honda. No, this is definitely still failing. Okay. Well, this is kind of a fun discussion. So this is like, oh, but I've already commented on it, so we'll ignore. Um, kind of verify. Oh yeah, this is that kind of verify stuff. Let's just archive all these kind of verify ones. Dare I try to resolve these conflicts? I think this didn't work the other day when I was attempting it. Come on, big money. Nope, GitHub is broken as usual. Ah, uh, yep, that's been answered. Well, let's see what the convo. I, mean, I wish there was like a. Uh, Yeah, so I'll just say you are not MLK, MKL. <laughs> um, Okay, just do that. Bam. Yet another kind of verify. Word admin. Oh, that's a kind of smithy one. Weird. It's closed. Bad rendering issue. Um. Uh, I don't care. Um, determining CUDA. Journal. All right, Octobox. Conda Forge cleared. Oh, I don't care about this. Um, yeah, let's just do. Uh, no, I don't want to deal with those right now. Let's deal with some of these nano ones, uh, or nano RC ones. Uh, bam. Color normal, not understood. Yet again. Let's 
So I'll just say, as explained, some other issues. White is not a good have people here hey there so I'm taking requests if you uh, if you want to see some things um, yeah just let me know I was just kind of going through some uh, issues in my Octobox which are pretty boring but uh, there they are so um, there's a few different ideas hopefully you guys can figure out how to or you all can figure out how to do the chat um, so, yeah, otherwise, um, I guess I'll just keep going on. I know there's a kind of a bit of delay with, uh, between the, the different views and everything. Okay, bam. Uh, let's see. So it looks like Paul has, uh, liked this, which is nice. Thanks, Paul. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't have a good way of chatting with you other than this chat room yet. I think I'm still still trying to work out some of the details. So, um, uh, yeah, please please respond or at least say hey and let me know uh, let, let me know what's going on. Uh, commander, where I can start. Here. So so let's maybe look at some contra issues. Um, while we're here, um, and try to figure them out. So, uh, I guess we can go to the bottom, uh, or, oop, no, come on, uh, don't like that it, that Octobox jumps back to the top all the time. That's a little annoying. Uh, Alright, let's just stop from start from the top. So, or actually, let's start with pull requests. I always start with pull requests. Um, okay, this is an old pull request that I don't know uh, what the... Why is Google bothering me with photo book stuff? So basically, um, in Conch right now, we have this... So if you're not familiar with Conch, we're... Uh, Conch is a shell, so it, it's the shell that I'm running right now, um, and uh, it's this little, it's a terminal language, so it's a superset of Python 3, uh, the only real Python, so you can check out more by, at conch xonsh dot, or xon dot sh, um, and, or conch dot org if you really want. Um, and so one of the things that we have here um, is that there we have a we have a bunch of subprocess operators. So right, so you can do things like I don't know, like echo, hello, and uh, that'll return. Uh, oh, let's get a let's get a prompt toolkit version up here. Um, stuck on the read line so I do everything in like oh uh, oh I see I see I've got um, okay I think I'm on 36 still I'm not gonna update to 37 there's some there's some weird install issue whatever dev life I guess um, so uh, yeah so if I do like echo hello um, you see that we get this string back 
right? And the string contains the trailing new line because echo puts in a trailing new line unless you do echo dash n, um, right? Because it's just returning to you exactly what, what the program returns. Now in bash, this particular, um, in bash, this particular, what happens is that new line seems to be stripped. It's not actually stripped, but bash tokenizes based on the, um, base, based on the like, uh, based on white space. Um, so uh, you won't actually see the new line, I'm pretty sure. So let's go into bash and we'll just say like, oh God, what is it? It's like, S, let's just say like S equals, we have to do it this way, unfortunately. Echo, hello. And then, um, there's no like wrapper string, right? S bash, bash just, uh, like what happens if you do, oh yeah, S command. Uh, so is it like print F or something? No. Oh yeah, of course you don't use parentheses. Oh. Uh, yeah, right. So this is where the tokenizer is coming into play here. But if we export, um, I think if you export ifs equals, I don't know, let's just do like dash or something. And then you do, I don't know, it's still stripping the new line. I don't know. Bash is a weird, weird mess. Okay, let's get out of here. We're, we shouldn't be in Bash. This isn't about Bash. This is about being awesome. Um, oh yeah, hey, welcome new new people. Um, so I'm taking requests right now. I'm just like trying to explain this one uh, conch issue that we probably won't solve, but if there's anything you'd like me to do, uh, like, yeah, just put it in the chat here. Um, happy to like try new things slash be heckled uh, yeah, about how broken my environment is right now. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so, so basically, like, we we're in this situation where, like, you might not want to have that trailing new line, and so there's some special syntax, which is, like, this at echo, or at dollar sign hello, and really... Uh, oops, let's just, uh, uh, let's set that equal to a variable. Man, what is going on? Uh, oh, I see. This is only in subprocesses. So you have to do something like echo, uh, oops. This is pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> um, oh, but that's two ends. Gosh, this is confusing. So let me just talk about the actual use case. So the actual use case is, um, in general, is like maybe you want to say which, um, like which ls, um, or like which echo, and that will but then you'll want to do something like uh, set that to an environment variable. So like you'll you might say like uh, echo, oops, echo equals the location of echo. And so if we look at echo, um, that doesn't have a, a dollar sign in it, or sorry, that doesn't have a a, a new line trailing it, but um, that's because which is like a an ls command. So like if we say, let's give a hello example. So let's say hello, um, echo hello. Like what if you, and then dollar sign, this should have the hello in it. Um, you might not want to have uh, that available. You might not want to have that new line. Oop, and there's a big old exception. Um, and so that's what this PR is trying to do. Um, it's a little, it's mostly working on this particular, in this particular example. Um, oh, I guess this would have been a better example. Uh, like, 
Yeah, I should have just read the thing. But it's adding some extra spaces. So, like, uh, nominally these... Uh, oops, of course this doesn't work, I'm not on that branch. Um, nominally that would, that would be taken care of for you. So, okay. Um, I think you are real people in the stream. Uh, but, yeah. Interaction would be nice, I guess. Um, you're killing me up here. I'm dying. Um, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I haven't gotten a chance to look at that um, anytime it, it recently. Uh, let's see. There's, let's look at this fix completer error issue. Um, so let's actually read what it does. Launch error. Okay, so there's some terrible traceback uh, in the event that there's, uh, I guess, like some sort of completer thing. I don't know. Um, let's see what this PR actually does. Uh, if we render last screen. Oh, I see. Yeah, so just make sure that this last screen is valid. That seems totally reasonable. So let's go ahead and merge that. Um, and thank the committer. Uh, always, always have to thank people for their contributions, I know. That's an unpopular opinion, but uh, I always do it, even if it's a little bit more work. So, okay. So that's good. Uh, I think uh, this, these things were actually closed, so I don't need to worry about them. And is there a way to perform a command? Yes, there is. Um, there is. Uh, yes, it is this which l which dash s. Yeah, that that shows you how to. Uh, yeah, so I'll explain that. So, um, so let's say you have like so which and conch is actually pretty sophisticated. So let's say you have like which ls will normally just return to you whatever the command the location of the command or the alias. Uh, but I think if you do dash a, you get all of them, right? So you get sort of all of the things that you could possibly look up, and so you'll normally only hit the first one. Uh, but you could proceed to the other one. So if there's multiple versions of ls on your path, it'll tell you the, all of those, all of those things. Um, or we could do like, like which Python is probably a good one. Oh no, there's only one Python on my path. Uh, Python three? No, there's only one Python three. Uh, <laughs> um, but so if we look at the help for which, uh, so you can say skip aliases for or dash s for the, uh, for to skip any aliases that, that might appear and then just go to the actual command, which is what this, uh, what this gentleman was, or gentle person was, was asking about. So, um, and then to run that, you simply put it as like the first, uh, the first piece in, uh, the first thing in your command, right? So this, this which will get evaluated and then be substituted in for the actual command that we want to run. So, um, in subprocess mode, right? There we go. Yeah. So, yeah, this gives us you know the uncolorized version of of output. Okay, great. Um, so that's cool. That's closed. Don't need to worry about that. Um, and then other PRs. Let's see, anyone else in now? Nope, just uh just the four friends. Uh is the chat not working? I guess I should check Twitter. Um uh, uh, well, I'll just tweet really quick. Um or respond to uh one of the my original this one. Let 
I'm gonna check in on my uh, on my phone on Slack just to see if that's something that people if anyone's been commenting on on Slack on my phone, which I think not. I think not. So okay. Anyways, uh, okay. Completer turn off warning. Um, well, this is weird. Uh, decorator to turn off warnings completely. I wonder where they want to turn off warnings. Uh, okay. That seems interesting. Oh, they don't want the completer to accidentally turn warnings on. That makes sense. That that really also does make sense. But I'm curious as to why um why is it not working? On or why did the circle three seven build not run? Uh, let's look. Um, which PR is this? This is three one six six. Uh, come on. Oh, I'm not logged in. Or I'm, like, logged in incorrectly or something. It's pretty annoying. Circle will do that. I don't know if anyone else struggles in that same way that I struggle with Circle. Um, it's a pretty minor thing, but um, it does bother me sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's look. Conch. Uh, those are my branches. I actually just want, I don't want my branch build, I want the 3166. Let's just, oh, here we are. Um, pull request. Okay, how do we know which one? Oh, 316. Wait, why is circle... Didn't even run it. Okay. That's weird. Um, no, don't, don't unfollow. That's exactly the wrong thing. I think we're not running three set. Maybe I should go to this, like the workflow job. I don't know. Let's look, right? So, Look in dot circle config. Oop. Uh, let me know if you can't read the screen, by the way. 3.7 is uncommented. Or actually, I don't know how. I'm not on my laptop, so I don't know how old any of this stuff is. Okay, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh... I'm not even sure what Python I'm running. 3.6. Okay. That's nice. Um, so let's install. Pay no attention to the setup.py install dash dash user. Um, okay. Let's kill that. And cd... Oops. cd conch. Ah, prompt toolkit is working. That's so nice. That's all I needed to do. So 3.7 was supposed to run. Oh, I think this person didn't, like, merge from master. Because 3.4 certainly wasn't supposed to run. Because uh, we've deprecated 3.4. So I'm going to try to, like, push to their branch and merge from master. Um, which it says I can. So that's nice. Uh, 
they seem to be having a couple of commits. So let's let's just copy their URL. Uh, okay. I get remote. Let's add them as a remote. Add. Uh, what's this person's name? It's like six C O nine. It's a pretty fun name. Okay, so get fetch. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, get checkout dash b. Uh, no, what what what's this called? Dev warning, I guess. Uh, six. Dev warning. Okay. So, and then we're going to do get merge master merged. Uh, six, nine, and then death warning. Ah, so annoying. I hate when people don't enable that. It's like, um, don't enable like the admins to push to their branches. So let's say. Thanks. Can you please, please merge from master to get the correct CI config? And then comment. And Kill that, kill that. Okay, and now we're done with conch pull requests. So that's cool. Um, let's not look at these issues necessarily. There's nothing I want to talk about uh, there. I think maybe one of the other, um, like, I think it might be kind of cool to learn something new. Uh, so... There's both this voila um, package that came out recently, I think this week, uh, uh, Jupiter, for Jupiter. And then there's also panel, um, which is something that I uh, am also interested in learning. Um, so, um, uh, so yeah, so what is, so both of these are like, make it really easy to have to build kind of data science interfaces um, without having to do a lot of work. Um, and it looks like voila's on um, Conda Forge, so that's good. So why don't we go ahead? Why don't we try voila? Um, I, I like don't know anything about it really. Um, yeah, let's try it. So we, we'll either do voila or we'll do panel. So why don't we do voila? I've got like a notebook that I'm interested in using. So let's let's do conda install voila. I think that's right. Yep. Yeah. I've got conda forge, or I've got meta channel on one of my channels actually as like my default channel. So meta channel pointed at conda forge. Um, so no need. Uh, no need to worry about that. Uh, oh, it looks like we lost a couple people. That's all right. Probably lost them in my weird conch discussions. Um, or maybe they just weren't interested in voila. Uh, <laughs> um, P expect. Oh man, I didn't have P expect. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh well, okay. That's fine. It's all Python stuff, so it's all pretty small. Man, I didn't even have Pandoc on this machine. 
Shows how much I code at home these days, I guess. I'm almost always at the office. I think this channel needs, like, music or something. But I haven't figured out a way of adding music that, like, where the... Like a soundtrack where the... Basically, YouTube won't immediately take it off uh, because everything's copyrighted. So, I know, I think, uh, what's that project? The, like, TensorFlow has some project where it'll, like, auto-generate music for you. Um, there's a couple of those out there, but I, I don't know. I guess Zero MQ was in Python, but whatever. <coughs> Sorry. I lied. I lied. Um, also, this needs Parso. Oh. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, okay. Yeah, so I think the, the thing is, like, it basically just takes a notebook and then starts up a little server in a way that um, you can just use directly. So, um, yeah, so, like, you can play with the widgets and stuff. Yeah, okay, let's look at this execution model. So, great. So, uh, okay, so here's the kernel. Oh, and then there's a web socket that talks to the kernel. And then, um, right, so that's what's handling what you actually do with all of the little request things. Um, and then, yeah, and then the notebook, you basically get a custom kernel for the notebook, um, and then all of the widgets just kind of work. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it does IPy volume, that's interesting. Uh, IPyML, that's interesting. I wonder if we could do, yeah, the, this like map stuff is super cool. Um, I wonder if we could play around with that here. Okay. So this is, this is it. So I think to start it up, all we need to do is say, right. So say voila, and then the notebook name, and then we could set the Let's say we don't, oh, we, yeah, we do want to strip the source code. So, okay. Um, uh, actually, let's just go back to the root directory. Oh, it's not on this machine. Okay. Um, do I have any? I know where my notebook is. Uh, I made a gist with it. Man. It's pretty hard to type sometimes. Uh, so here's like a, an interesting notebook I've been playing around with lately that's just about kind of the number, uh, whether it's better to encrypt first and then compress data or compress and then encrypt. And the, the answer is that you always want to compress first. Um, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's just download the zip file because we're lazy. Okay, so CD downloads. Um, I have like a weird little T directory in my downloads folder. Um, and then let's say unzip dot dot and slash. And what was this thing called? Like EE7. Okay. Ah, uh, wow. Um, I don't want that in my directory name. Star dot uh, okay, there we are, and let's rm e rm dash r, of course, and now we should have voila, and we can do compress encrypt. Okay, so it's running, it's running. Oh no, I don't have matplotlib installed. Uh, 
hilarious. I might not have most of these things. Okay, so let's go grab them. Uh, and let's let's actually just see what this does when there's complete failure on the first import line. Uh, oh, it just tells you there's complete failure on the import line. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let's do conda install uh, matplotlib. Uh, my partner is WhatsApping me, uh, as is her custom, and right, I suppose. Um, oh, it's just a, it's just a photo of her landing in Philadelphia right now. Funny. Okay. All right, so this is cool. Like, it just, uh, this is a totally uninteractive notebook, so you can't do anything, and it's static. Um, and therefore, this has uh, nothing useful for us right now, I guess. So let's go ahead. Um, what was that other thing that we wanted to do? That we wanted to, that it said it was to make it interactive for matplotlib? It was like ipyml or something? Um, okay, so let's, let's look at whether that's... Um, actually on Conda Forge, um, or if I would have to do something special, which I don't like doing. Uh, most things are in Conda Forge. <gasps> it's not on Conda Forge. Oh my gosh! Wow. Well, I think we all know what that means. I think we all know that that means we have to make a Conda Forge package right now. Um. Probably just says to pip install it. Um, wait, it says it's on Conda Forge. Um, oh, it's IPy MPL. Man, machine learning, it's killing me. Yeah, it's here. I don't have to make a Conda Forge package. Um, fine. Wow, someone else has more downloads than Conda Forge. Not by much, but fascinating. Okay. We'll let that this one finish, I guess. So in the meantime, we'll go ahead and modify this to do what they said in this blog post, which is to say, um, well, I guess we, this is really annoying that you have to watch, um, uh, watch this GIF, I guess. I mean, it makes for a nice blog post, but my god, it is not good documentation. Well, let's see. Um, how do you use this thing? Uh, to enable, um, use the matplotlib widget. Okay, so rather than matplotlib inline. Uh, that seems easy enough. Wow, I didn't even have NumPy on this machine. Something, uh, something is deeply wrong here. So, uh, okay. So let's go ahead, kill this. I probably don't have Jupiter Lab. Uh, so let's do Jupiter Notebook, I guess. Um, Jupiter? No. Do I not have Jupiter? Uh, cool. Uh, available sub subcommands. Kernel migrate. Well, we don't need Jupiter, right? We can just edit the the thing. Um. Ah, some folks are back. Okay, yeah. So here we are editing a Jupyter notebook, um, because we are cool like that. So from <laughs> from inline to widget, and let's 
try voila again. Hopefully it'll fail, but in a new way. Or actually, we still don't have matplotlib installed. Because uh, that's... Yeah, okay, but now we're getting the entirely new... Ah, here we are. Okay, now we have matplotlib installed. Uh, but we need IPy MPL. Ugh. There... I think the only thing that isn't an abbreviation in that is the I. Or no, I stands for interactive. All the freaking characters there. Um, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Okay. So let's install that. It should be pretty small. Um, let's close this again. And... Uh, oh, now they want to install the Jupyter Notebook. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've got this crazy meta channel URL for my channel name. Uh, like, this isn't normal. Yeah, don't don't feel that that's normal in any way. Uh, for, for it is not. Um, oh. um, wow, validating. Uh, it totally failed the, the like, little... That's, that's funny. The color escape code really pretty pretty good okay and executing the notebook with the kernel uh this page should redirect you to voila okay i guess if the notebook takes a long time to execute then it's hard okay perfect ah yeah look at this look at this it froze, sort of. Okay, so this was my notebook. Um, it had some string output, which is cool. Um, and then here is my random data. Oh, weird, it added all of the plots to a single figure. That is definitely not what I wanted. Um, uh, these were all in different cells, as we can see on uh the gist here right so like the gist here's the gist here's the code um just playing around again with the encryption stuff bam plotted that those are three lines here are three lines here are another three lines um but it looks like we get all nine well th three of them all have the same label so i guess we'll get seven four five six seven eight Nine. No, it's we get all nine. It's just three of them are overlapped. Uh, all on the same axes. But, like, it totally works. Like, we can pan, we can... Uh, can we zoom? You can... I always forget how you zoom in, in this. Um, help me. Help me, people. Help me zoom. Oh, it's probably this, right? That's zooming. Um, and... We could probably save this. Holy shnikes, look at that. Look at that, wow. I mean, it rendered completely incorrectly, but there's the file. Uh, <laughs> um, that's pretty amazing, actually. Oh, and then home takes you back. Um, and then, yeah, that's like our, that's pretty neat, actually. That is, that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, normally that's like really annoying to deal with, so um, all we had to do is install a couple things and then and then we're done. Uh, wow, fascinating. What else? I mean, I don't know any of these other packages very well that they mentioned, right? Like I don't know. I, I doubt we could get Xleaflet working in the next five minutes um, or with like a with like a a nice thing. Um what is grid stack? I don't know. Let let's try that. I I I wanna know what grid stack does. And I'm not gonna read the docs because that is not cool. That does not make for cool television. Um okay let's let's turn this thing off. Let's kill this. Let's run this with grid stack. That did not work. Um, 
That actually just failed. No, what, what, what is that? Do I need to install something else? It seems like there's a million packages. Okay, voila, grid stack. I'm betting this is on Conda Forge. Um, uh, whoops. Uh, it might not be on Conda Forge. Oh, I see. You can have like little templates so that you can ex so that you can lay these things out as uh, however you want. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, that is pretty interesting. Ah, uh, it's voila. Grid stack is not on Conda Forge. That needs. I guess I could make a Conda Forge package for it. Let's look it up. Let's just try to find the repo and maybe either open an issue or um Yeah. We could try to do a Conda Forge package. It's really just a Python thing. Why don't we try that? Okay, we'll try it, and if it fails, we only have three minutes left. Sorry, this is only an hour. Uh, stage recipes, get check out. Wait, that pull request was... Well, this would go a lot better if I was... Get pull... Um, if I was actually prepared or knew how to type or any of those beautiful things. Um, okay. And so, but I don't, so you'll have to suffer. Uh, well, but really, we're both suffering, but it hurts me more than it hurts you. Get, check out dash B. Voila, grid stack. Um, CD... Sorry, I'm not explaining this so much. I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. Uh, two minutes, cp-r. Example, voila, grid stack. So, I wonder if this has, like, versions. It must have versions. Um, it must have, uh, it really must. Uh, Meta.yaml. Someone's beeping at me. Um, okay. No. Okay. All right. And now, uh, where are we? Uh, I knew we wouldn't avoid Conda Forge this time. Okay. So now we need to go to PyPI, and then search for grid stack. Oh man, look at that version number. That's an epically low version number. Um, in Incredible. Okay. And I believe, let's just, uh, why do they have a wheel? There's no reason to have a wheel for this, probably. There's probably no reason for a wheel. Um, uh, okay, so no arch python, um, don't need build, don't need pip. Or we need that. I think it has... Maybe the runtime dependency is probably... Voila. I'm just guessing. I really don't know. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's entertaining. Oh no, I'm, and I'm out of time. <laughs> uh, well, I can finish this off just to finish the stream. But uh, I really only have like... I can only push it five minutes. Uh... What is going on? No, I didn't want, want to download it. I don't know. I'm about to give up. Uh, what do you even do? What is this package? It's like, this is like a nothing package. Or I guess it, it's got like all this data stuff in there. I don't know. Um, what am I? Can You can't import anything. All you can do is check that this thing is exists. 
the worst. Okay. Um, uh, so we'll do like a simple existence test commands, because that's really the only thing. Voila. Dot TPL, which I think stands for uh, um, yeah, I think stands for template. Who knows? Um, okay, and then so because I can never remember what the simple existence test is, I think I think it's test dot dash f, but this is why we have docs and condaforge. So um, testing no, not testing changes locally. locally. Uh, contributing packages, um, and then it's, uh, the recipe meta.yaml, and it's test, and yeah, here, it, yes, it's test-f, man, I need to see the sun more, I think, is what this comes down to, okay, um, and this doesn't have a real website. It's basically just this thing. Voila, grid stack. Um, so, bam, bam, bam. Let's see. The license is called license. The, um, but the license is what type of license? It's BSD three clause. Okay, BSD. Three clause, and it's in the BSD family, um, and this should be license. And the summary is probably something uh, like this: grid stack template for voila, um, and none of this stuff really matters because it's basically just a template file, and Uh, we'll add myself, and then I'll say git status git add dot git commit uh, update or no add voila grid stack, uh, and then we'll say skip. Uh, there, because it's a no arch package, so we don't need to run on Windows git push set upstream origin. Voila, grid stack. Oop. And then let's go ahead and make a PR, and then we will be. I'll just say we'll be done. So, no arch Python. Because I don't have time to write a PR message. And bam, there. What a productive hour. We learned voila and we made a voila PR. Uh, or a, a voila grid stack package. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to sign out. Bye, everybody. Maybe we'll do this again sometime. I think it was kind of fun. Um, yeah, all right. Ciao for now. Let me see if I can figure out how to get out of this thing. And where I put... Uh, there, there it is? No. There we are. Alright, bye-bye.